That's a woman. Really? Oh, well, they certainly look confident. Hmm. Okay then. So, this is my next Let's Play. Space Station Silicon Valley. A very old and rather underrated game on the N64. And I'm actually doing this commentary after I recorded it because that's all my program will allow me to do. But it's actually kind of convenient this way. So, let's begin. We are going to be playing as the killer robot in this game. Well, so to speak. And the killer robot's kind of a wise guy. But that works because his partner is actually kind of a jerk. Oh, actually, they're both jerks. Hey, what the music? Hey, you know, it's fun. As you can see, they work really well together. Danger! Incoming cliché! And as you can see, they work really well together. Wow, nice. Yeah, these guys are the greatest heroes ever. Don't try to tell me otherwise. Meanwhile, on Space Station Silicon Valley... Oh, that's kind of unnatural. And creepy. I don't like it. Evo, do something about that. No, seriously, this is kind of disturbing. Am I the only one who thinks that? Oh god! Oof, that might have been a little harsh. Eh, whatever works though. And hey, at least we're safe. Yeah, scratch that. So... Remember the killer robot that we were playing as? Well, now we're the killer microchip. This is Space Station Silicon Valley. A game where you possess animals and use their abilities. It's kinda like Kirby, except... Really not like Kirby at all. Each animal has an A move and a B move. Dog's A move is to jump and his B move is to bite. So we've been given two objectives. The first is to get energy. There's the energy. Done. Next objective is to kill a sheep. Well, it says get a sheep, but that's basically what it means. So like it says here, use the R button to jump from one animal to another. And after you get a new animal, this little screen pops up and it gives you all their little stats. Though the only ones that are really all that important are the A skill and the B skill. And the sheep really isn't that useful. All the sheep can do is really uh, float. Has a little glide move, and its B move is to ba, which does nothing. But it's a cute little sound effect, I guess. Anyway, in each level there are 15 of these uh, power cell things. And if you collect them all, like all of them in every level, then you get a special little thing at the end. 
but it's really not that great, so I'm not going to be doing that. However, I am going to be collecting all of the uh, bonus items, or trophies as I like to call them. There is one in each level, and if you get all of them, then you also get something special at the end. Which also isn't that great, but I want to do it anyway. Because it's a lot more manageable trying to find you know, just one item as opposed to 15. And I actually don't know where all of them are, and I'm kind of curious to you know, try to find it for myself. And here's the stats on the dog. Also listed here, uh, along from A skill and B skill, is water resistance and uh, fall distance. Water resistance is basically whether or not your animal can swim, and if they can't, they will take damage in water. And fall distance is how well you can take a fall before you start taking damage. Which hopefully won't happen, because hopefully I will not be falling off of many cliffs. Anyway, to get the first trophy in this level, you need to... Yeah, I damn like sheep. Anyway, to get the first trophy in this level, you need to take all three sheep over to the incinerator behind the thruster and then ask Dan to incinerate them. Even though he likes sheep, he'll do it anyway. So I put a sheep right there. And when you're outside of an animal, as just as in a microchip form, then you'll notice that you start losing health. So you have to quickly get from one animal to another. It's generally not a good idea to go running around as the microchip. Yeah, Dan's kind of a jerk. Don't know if I mentioned that already. Probably did. No, actually I'm pretty sure I did. But anyway, you get to be a jerk right back now and uh, just bark at him incessantly until he decides to turn on the thrusters. Don't really know why he's barking at him until he decides to make them turn on the thrusters, but whatever, he burns sheep. So, that is one of three sheep that needs to be put in front of the incinerator to get the trophy. And logically, I probably should have killed them closer to it. So I wouldn't have to go through all this trouble to go up to the sheep and get the sheep and bring the sheep over to the thruster and get, you know, like sheep out of the sheep and walk right over to the dog and repeat. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cut off right here. And there's the last sheep. And there's the first trophy. Ship of a giant heart. It has a different shape in each level. I'm assuming the giant heart is supposed to represent the uh, tragic romance between Roger and Flossie. Which unfortunately didn't end very well. I mean, Roger got hit by a spaceship and Flossie got burned up by its thrusters. Typical Romeo and Juliet type scenario. But anyway, that level is complete. Next time in Space Station Silicon Valley, do the next level. Have a nice day.